Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make a Cartesian product table. So a Cartesian product basically is the product of two lists. So we have, for example, a list here of colors and a list here of item numbers. And what are all the possible combinations of those? And we have this table here, which basically is the Cartesian, pro the Cartesian product of these two lists. And I'll show you how to do this using a pivot table. I have these two lists here. I put them here. And what we need to do first is turn them into tables. I use control T to turn that into a table. And yes, my table does have headers. That's the first row there. Click OK. And turn this one into a table. Click within the table or the range of cells here. Control T. And also click my table has headers. Click OK. And I can bring any one of these, uh, turn any one of these into a pivot table. So I'll just select on item number table here use the keyboard shortcut alt and V and that will bring up the create pivot table window. Let's put this pivot table in an existing worksheet with this, this worksheet that we're in location. I'll just put it here in uh, this column G and it's very important that we click add this to the data model because this is what enables us to combine these two tables. Click OK. And we're going to have the pivot table navigation pane here and you'll notice that we've got our pivot our table here I can just click on item number here and it brings in that particular list of uh, values here now let's click on all uh, these are just the active pivot table fields we'll click on all available pivot table fields and you notice now notice that two tables show up now the kind of difference between these two tables is this table got added to the data model. You can see model table name here. And this table, which is our color table, it's this table two here. And this table is available to add to the data model. Uh, once you select the color, now you see that there's a little bar that's across that table indicating that that particular table now is in the data model. What I can do now is go under design, under report layout, click show in tabular form, and let's repeat all items. Now they're all repeated, and let's get rid of any grand totals. So get, turn off totals for rows and columns, turn off subtotals, and we ha let's double click this to auto fit that. Double click that to auto fit. And now we have our all our combinations of the item numbers and colors. And the nice thing about this also is, is if we add items, let's say item six, and let's say we add another color here like brown, right? Right click, oops, right click and refresh. You'll notice now that brown is going to show up. It shows up in alphabetical order. We have brown there and item six shows up at the bottom there. So that's our way of creating a Cartesian product or a table that has a combination of all the values within two tables using a pivot table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.